The following report is only a rumor, but it is a seriously troubling rumor if it is true. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Welcome to my media channel. And this is basically a rumor that's going on right now. So we don't know if this is true or not. Sony has not confirmed what we are about to talk about. But it sounds very plausible, and it's one more reason why you want to keep your physical media. The primary reason that this channel exists is to basically update you on streaming services and physical media, and to basically tell you, keep that physical media and buy it when possible, if it's really important to you. I know digital is convenient. I know that there are storage issues in people's houses, especially with younger people. You can barely afford a studio apartment in California right now, so you don't necessarily have a lot of space to be putting old games. So you want to buy your things digitally, and you'll, you know, hey, remove the games that you're not playing now, re-download them later. I mean, it just seems like a pretty good system, right? Except when people like me have been telling you for years what happens when those servers go down and they eventually will. And right now there are rumors from a report that Sony will be closing their PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita stores for good. And they won't be available accessible from devices or anywhere. So let's look at this Polygon article. They basically summed up the report. A report published Monday said the PlayStation Store for Sony's PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, and the PlayStation Portable will close for good in July and August, making digital copies of games for those platforms unavailable for purchase from then on. The gamer, citing unnamed sources familiar with the matter, said that the PS3 and PSP stores will close on July 2nd, and the PS Vita storefront will shut down August 27th. Polygon reached out to Sony representatives for additional information. No reply was made at the publication time. Vita and PS3 only games are for now accessible only through the PlayStation Store app on both units. Those platforms are not searchable from the PlayStation Store's website and haven't been available there since a not well liked redesign in October. Sony phased out the PS3 over several regions between 2015 and 2016 before formally discontinuing the console in May 2017. The PlayStation Vita, which launched in winter of 2011-2012, well, was shut down in March 2019. Never mind the short-lived PlayStation Portable Go, which was an all-digital device and is now basically useless. And we'll get back to that in a second. Now, the closure of the PlayStation Store presents more of an issue for PlayStation Vita users, considering how many of that platform's notable games were indie developed and sold online. Direct backward compatibility with PlayStation 3 from PlayStation 4 and PS5 is not available in the way that many Xbox 360 and earlier games are supported on Xbox One and Xbox Series X. But PS4 ports of some PS3 games are available as separate products. And still other PS3 and PS2 games are streamable to modern consoles from the PlayStation Now subscription service, which basically doesn't work and it's cloud-based. And that's not what people, especially people like me, want. We don't want to stream our games from the cloud. I mean, there's no real convenience to that when you get down to it. I mean, look, I'm the, my PlayStation, which you can't see, is down there. It's a giant thing. I'm not moving it anywhere. So, you know, if I'm going to play a game, I will gladly download it and play it as much as I want. But to stream it on the cloud makes no sense, especially since there's no browser version, kind of like Google Stadia, so I could just take it wherever I want. But that's kind of besides the point. The point is, I do believe that this is probably going to happen. PlayStation is about the future. Well, Sony, I should say. They want people to buy the PlayStation 5. They want people to get that system. And, you know, it costs a lot of money to keep those games and those servers online for old hardware. And they don't want people buying the old hardware. They don't want people focusing on the old games. Excuse me. They want people buying the new games or they want people to buy the new systems now here's the thing if they announce this and they say but by the way all those games are going to be transferred to the ps4 and ps5 and you can still act access them from there or you can still buy them from there you know what that that will make this a lot better that will make this a lot better because at the very least you still have access to games that you purchased but now but let's just assume for a minute that that's not what happens. Let's just say 
Sony says, to heck with this. Um, you don't need, people aren't buying Lunar anymore. They're not buying Chrono Cross anymore. They're not buying um, Croc. They're not buying those sports games, uh, like those snowboarding and stuff like that. Uh, they're not buying Street Fighter Puyo Puyo. They're not buying these ga games anymore. So you know what? Who needs them? Let's just take the stores down, take the games off the server space. Let's save the server space. Let's just get rid of them. And now these games are lost to the sands of time, unless you have the physical copies. And thank God that there are physical copies out there because with physical copies, you can still make emulation and those games can still be preserved. But this is going to be a very big blow to the gaming industry and especially Sony. In fact, it might even make people who bought their discless PlayStation console, they might look at that as a little bit of suspicion now because the PlayStation 5 without the disc, what if Sony pulls this again in five years and we're on the PlayStation 6 or 7? And Sony basically says, okay, you know what? The PlayStation 5 is the past. We don't want the past anymore. Let's remove those servers. Let's get those games out of there. Let's focus on the new. Well, you basically have a brick for a box. And some people might say, well, just download the games and put them on your hard drive. Well, these games are big. Even these old PlayStation games, you have enough of them. They take up enough space. You can't usually have them all on at once. You have to... Oh, my, my light is starting to go out. <laughs> Funny. They're going to start taking up too much space we need to start cleaning it out and you need to clean them out so that you can put more games on and that's gonna be a problem like some people who have like completely jumped into digital head first they now have to have a they now have to ask themselves like what are they gonna do are they gonna have multiple units now so that they can download all the games at some point are they gonna buy those really expensive proprietary memory cards which they weren't like the Vita, for example, wasn't just an SD card. It was a PlayStation propriety memory card, and many of them are not sold anymore, and you have to pay heavy bucks to even get them. And what happens if your system corrodes and there's rot in there? You can't just transfer these games to a new system. The, the storefront is going to be gone. And I've never... I mean, some people have actually commented that they've never seen an industry that is so adverse to protecting their legacy. I mean, you know what this would be like? This would be like, uh, okay, you know how PlayStation View was taken away? Now, that was a DVR streaming service, so I acknowledge that. But let's play a little thought process. Let's say that it was a streaming service, and they put movies like this is a uh, sony movie like arthur christmas on playstation view and you could stream arthur christmas from playstation view and let's also just for argument's sake pretend that this physical copy did not actually exist we're in the future arthur christmas physical media is done they put it on playstation view but playstation view is not the hit that sony wants it to be so sony decides you know what we're going to cancel PlayStation View. No more PlayStation View. In all those movies, you can no longer view them. You can no longer download them. They're just gone. No more Arthur Christmas ever again. No more, um, I guess, is BFG? No. No more Pirates Band of Misfits. I'm just looking um, at no more Lawrence of Arabia. No more, uh, no, no more uh, Gandhi. Like, just... All these movies are gone now. They're not a thing. You can't watch them anymore just because PlayStation View decides to go down. Like, what if Disney Plus ever went down and then there's no way to ever watch The Mandalorian again, Falcon and Winter Soldier? That's what happens when everything is digital. Eventually, titles are pulled from servers when they're not being circulated enough. Unless you have a physical copy of these games, if this is true if Sony decides that yeah we're closing these stores because they're just it's not economic for us to keep them maintained anymore all those games no longer can you buy them no longer can you download them unless you have the physical copies or you have them downloaded on hardware that is working and hardware does stop working you are screwed now again this isn't confirmed and I'm hoping that 
with reports like this and the backlash that just the rumors I received that Sony will announce that all these games will be migrated over to the PlayStation 5 store and that you can still download them and play them on your PlayStation 5 and PS4 and even the PlayStation Vita if they can log into them. Like, I I think that would be a good compromise, but I, th I don't think they want to do that. In fact, I think that they want to get rid of them precisely because they just want to get rid of them. They're taking up too much space on the on the servers, PlayStation 5 games are coming out, those require a lot of um, memory, and you know, get out, get rid of the old and get in the new, that's just where we are. And that concerns me, that really does. But now my question is, do you think this rumor is true, and what are you going to do if it is true, and what happens if you bought most of your games digitally, how are you going to back them up and store them? I would really like to know what you're thinking right now, comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.